Hello, my name is Hector Mestre, and today I'm going to show you how blind friendly the Amazon Echo Show is. Now, before we go any further, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, and hit like so every time we upload a new video, you are notified. The Amazon Echo Show 8 is a pretty cool device if you are looking forward to create your own smart home ecosystem and I soon find out that blind people don't stay behind so I'll show you how. So what am I talking about being blind friendly? If anybody can come up to the system and ask for a request and it would act on it like Alexa turn off the kitchen light or mm -hmm. Alexa turn off the nook light. Okay. So you see Anybody can walk up to the system and ask for a request like that. So I'm talking about something different. Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. Mm -hmm. The Echo Show 8 is loaded with a voiceover software named Voice View, very alike to those on the iPhone, iPads, and Apple computer, and any other Apple products. I'm gonna show you now how it works. Alexa, Turn voice view on. Voice view ready, 1206, 52 degrees. Sunny, Tuesday, January 18th. Now, the way it works is that wherever your finger is hovering around and you touch, right? It will speak anything that your finger is touching. 1206 PM. Alexa, open settings. Here's settings. So now I'm gonna search around. Bluetooth, one network, the master fam, your profile and family, display and brightness. So now Double tap it's, to reading, it's reading everything that I'm touching, but if I wanna get into the system or any application, all I gotta do is double tap. Display and brightness. Brightness okay. disabled. One now five. it reads everything that's on the screen because most likely I won't be able to see it. Display now. and brightness. Brightness disabled. One in five. Adaptive brightness. Adaptive Switch. brightness. Checked. Sunrise effect. Switch. Check. You see? Adaptive color. To blend in now I'm not interested on actually anything volume. inside the menu. Back. Back. So I double Settings. tap and I go back to settings. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. If I go like that, hey, the screen see. won't actually Sorry. go up if I wanna search to other parts of the menu. I will have to grab with my three fingers and swipe up like that. Swipe down with three fingers, swipe up with three fingers. Now, this is a little different from the Apple products because on the iPhone, if you wanna switch over to the next page, all you gotta do is go like that and it switches over, right? It goes up to the next section of the page. But in this one, you can actually grab and go up just a tiny bit if you are not interested on in just going very uh, further down. Now, by activating this, it gives me the ability to uh, navigate around the system without having to be asking for so much help. I was able to EQ the speakers the way I wanted to. Um, I also was able to do different things with the settings that I have in my house with the lighting or schedules or different things like that. I really like it. I thought it was pretty cool that it was blind friendly. And I just see that for blind people nowadays, there's many, many more things out there that we can actually enjoy without having to be asking other people for help. That gives us the ability to go at least 95% of the menu inside the actual Echo device. As a blind individual, I am pleased with this product and I truly recommend it. Thank you for watching.